So let's discuss the intellectual criteria which form the basis of the reform movements. And it is part of the chapter 8, Socio-Religious Reforms and Unit 4, Reform Movements. There were three ideologies uh, upon which the reform movements were based. And those three ideologies are rationalism. Rationalism is nothing but when you believe based on logic and reasoning, that is called rationalism. And then religious universalism, that means every religion is equal in the universe and all of the religion propagate the same idea. Then it is called religious universalism and humanism. So these were the three ideologies which based the reform movements on, of, the, of those days. So Akshay Kumar Dutt, he declared that rationalism is, is the only preceptor. That means logic and reasoning is the only way through which we can understand and we can be aware of the things we see around us. So he says that rationalism is the only preceptor. So they, what they did was, all the reformers, they applied a rational approach to study the tradition. That means they applied logic and reasoning to study all the tradition. And they evaluated all the religious reforms of those days or religious uh, practices of those days, whether uh, they produced any you know, social utility. And always they tried to replace faith with rationality. So this is what the reformers did. They all always evaluated any re any religious practice with real rationality and they also checked whether it is you know leading to any social utility so that's what this reformers did so was a consequence of uh, the approach followed by these reformers For example the brahma samaj it believed that vedas can go wrong in sometimes Okay, and also the Aliga movement, uh, it emphasized that the Islamic teachings should be in line with the modern age. For example, the Sayyid Ahmad Khan, he emphasized that the religious tenets can be modified. It's not something which cannot be changed. So many of the intellectuals, they evaluated everything in the light of uh, logic, reason or science. For example, Swami Vivekananda, he said that, you know, the same method when we, where we use in science, you know, the same method of investigation which we apply in the field of science should be applied also in the field of religion. And the religion must justify itself. Then only we can follow the particular religion's practices. And not only that, some reformers, you know, they used uh, a faith as well as Asian authority to support their appeal. You know, they did not always follow the science, logic and reasoning. They also used faith, some reformers, as well as Asian authority to support their, you know, support their argument. And whenever they, you know, presented an alternative to the prevalent social practices, they always tried, you know, most of the reformers, they produce, uh, they they brought in rationality and, uh, and a secular outlook. For example, you know, this is uh, Akshay Kumar Dutt. He was uh, against child marriage and he brought out medical opinion to support his views against child marriage. And uh, always they try to use the reference of the past as an aid and instrument. And uh, they did not totally break away from the past, but also did not depend fully on the past. They had a very new balanced approach. They neither, you know, got, uh, go, uh, neither went for a total revival of the past nor, nor take a total break with the tradition. So they always maintained balance and they al always referred to the past to aid their argument.